Hello friends, welcome to our channel Mechanical Motivator. In this video, we are going to see how to draw epicycloid. Epicycloid, we can see an example of a curved bridge which will be having a greater diameter circle above which two wheeler of a smaller diameter will be moving on. In this case, if a smaller diameter circle rolls over a greater diameter circle, then it is called as an epicycloid. So it's nothing but a curve generated by a point P on the circumference of the circle which rolls outside the circle. So consider this bigger circle as the directing circle and above which a smaller circle will be rotating. It is called as a rolling circle. The rolling circle will be generating a path. That's why it's called as a generating circle. So just see here, here is a point P. When the smaller circle rolls over the bigger circle, it will be tracing a point. This point will be moving on the circumference so that we will be getting a path above the greatest bigger circle like this. So once the smaller circle rolls over the directing circle, we will be generating a path like this. And at the end for a one revolution 360, 360 degree, it will be completing. So we going to trace this path. So the points will be giving the uh, circular movement and above which we will be tracing the curve. So remaining part, this part we will be removing and for calculating it, we will be having a formula called theta is equal to 360 into smaller diameter divided by greater diameter. So we will be getting the angle and we will be using the problem. The final curve will be like this, like this only. Just have a look at this. While solving the problem, we will be having a clear understanding. So let's go into the problem. Draw the epicycloid of a rolling circle of 40 mm diameter which rolls outside another circle 150 mm diameter for one revolution. Draw a tangent and normal from 110 mm from the directing circle. In this, from the question, we need to collect two data. One will be smaller diameter, second will be greater diameter. First step is try to put a straight line at the bottom of the Page. So consider this as your A3 sheet, you just uh, after putting the border, lowermost portion, draw a straight line of some certain distance. Within this, approximately keep a point O. Keep a point O. They have given the big circle diameter as 150 mm. So radius will be 75 mm. So big circle radius will be 75 mm. Uh, we need to mark the big circle radius. So for, for that we need to have the angle right. For that we will be having a formula. Theta will equal to 360 into small d divided by capital D. Small d is 40. They have given the equation and capital D is 150. So we will be getting 96 degree. So the ex extended angle will be 96 degree. Uh, consider this as a one, uh, straight line. So total it will be 180 degree right. So 180 minus 96 you will be having 84. If you divide it by 2, you will be ha having 42 degree. So if we leave 42 degree this side, right side and 42 degree on left hand side, we can get an angle 96 degree. Listen here, keep your protector at the point O. For 42, deg for 42 degree, draw a line for 75 mm. On the left hand side, for 42 degree, you draw a line for 75 mm, 7.5 centimeter. So the angle which we will be getting will be 96 degree. The next step is smaller circle diameter. So they have given 40 mm, smaller circle diameter. So radius will be 20 mm. So from point O till this greater circle, diameter will be 150. So, so radius will be 75 mm. So the distance of the blue line is 75 mm, 7.5 centimeter. Above it, for the same angle, try to extend the line for 20 mm. Try to extend the line. Green line will be 20 mm. Keep your point there so that we will be drawing the circle. So this is the center point. Now take 20 mm in your compass and try to draw a circle. Once again I repeat. So this distance will be 75 mm. Above it, it's 20 mm. Keep your point there. That point as center, radius as 20 mm, draw a circle. Now we are going to divide the circle into 12 equal parts. So before video in cycloid, I clearly explained how to divide the angle. You can take 30 degree. Or else you can also use the arc method and divide the circle and name as it is. So one, two, three, likewise. Next step is keep your compass here. Place your pencil here. So you will be having 75 mm, right? For that 75 mm, 
try to put an arc so it will be closing here likewise try to join 11 1 till this end try to extend this line to certain distance try to extend this line to certain distance then place your compass here and keep your pencil in the other end here 11 1 and end it likewise 10 2 and end it 9 3 and end it uh, 8 4 and end it 7 5 and end it and last 6 try to end it and center you will be getting uh, getting it separately you have to get a center center keep this as center c and also you, you should get a center that is called as a locus of center in uh, next step i have done it so keep your compass here and uh, place it at the center and draw a line you will be getting a center so till this we completed right now what we're going to do is we're just going to divide i mean divide this 96 degree into 12 equal parts if you divide means you'll be getting 8 degree so keep your protector here keep your protector here and o 12 okay o 12 as your base try to divide it 8 8 degree so 8 16 24 likewise you try to divide for 12 equal parts likewise if you divide means you'll be getting like this try to keep your protector at the point o and try to divide the angle like 8, 16, 24, 32. Likewise, try to divide for 12 equal parts and try to extend that line. That line will be meeting here. And you will be getting, to, uh, you can divide this line into 12 equal parts and name it as 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash. Likewise, you will be naming up. And this 96 degree is divided into 12 equal parts with the help of the protractor. Try to divide this line. So once you'll be getting a points like here, like 8, 16, 24, likewise, and try to extend that line. So once you extend from point O, you will be meeting at this line, 12, at the bottom of this circle. This line, uh, this line we have right, you'll be getting the at the bottom of the circle. And after getting the points, you can name as 1 dash, 2 dash, and so on. The next step, this step actually previously I explained, this is the cent locus of center of the circle. Uh, this step is, uh, this line is very important because we're going to, uh, mark this as a center that is we will be getting c1 c2 likewise so next step is you have your next step is try to try to join this o to one dash and try to extend till locus of center so you, have, you can see the lines very very lightly try to draw this line with 2h pencil very lightly from point o try to join 2 dash and try to extend till the locus of center yellow line likewise try to extend for your all the points and name it as C1, C2, C3, C4 till C12. Till this step, I think so you would have understood. The next step is we going to cut the arc. Cycloid, actually it's an extension of cycloid. So try to see the previous video and then see epicycloid. So now take, take a radius as 20 mm. See the smaller circle diameter, it's 40 mm. So radius will be 20 mm. So take 20 mm in your compass. Keep it on your line one, okay? Center is C1. Keep it on center C1. C1 and try to cut the arc at the first line. Like, likewise. Second step is keep your compass at C2. Try to cut the arc at the second line. Keep your compass at third C3 and try to cut an arc at the third line. And keep your compass at C4 and try to cut an arc at the fourth line. Likewise, if you cut means you will be getting like this. Till C6 you will be doing. After that, try to Turn from uh, from from one to six. You will be uh, cutting in the left hand side. After that, what you going to do is you will be. After that, what you going to do is you will be going from the right hand side. So just try to uh, use your compass and try to cut from the right hand side. So keep your compass at C seven. Try to cut an arc at the seventh line and keep your compass at C eight and try to cut an arc at eighth line. Likewise, if you cut means you will be getting till here. And after that, try to join all the points. Try to join all the points. You'll be getting a smooth curve like this. And this curve should be in a HP pencil. Next thing, draw the tangent and normal with 110 mm. So take your compass and measure 110 mm and place your compass at point O. Try to cut an arc at the curve. So you'll be getting the point P. Keep your compass at O for 110 mm, cut an arc. You'll be getting at the point at the point P on the curve. Then take 20 mm radius, keep your compass at point P, try to cut on the locus of center. Keep your compass at the point P, radius 20 mm, cut an arc at the locus of center, you will be getting here and try to join this point 
to the O. Try to join this point to the O. So that it will meeting, it will be meeting at the lowermost of the circle, this point. So uh, have a mark at this point. Now you just join, mark this point, mark this point as N. So whichever touching the lowermost circle, mark that point as N. Now join N with that point P and try to extend it. And this line is called as a normal. Once again, I repeat, for 110 mm, you will be cutting an arc at the locus. For 110 mm, keep your composite bow and cut an arc at the curve. You will be getting a point P. Then take 20 mm radius, cut an arc at the locus of center, join this point with the point O. You will uh, It will be meeting at the lowermost circle and mark that point as N. Now try to join this N and point O and try to extend. This line is called as a normal line and uh, name it as N N dash. Now keeping N N dash as your base, Point P as your center, draw 90 degree and that is called as a tangent. Keep N N dash as your base, point P as a center with your protector, draw a 90 degree line and try to extend back backwards also and name it as T T dash. Normal tangent curve, all should be in HP pencil. This is dimensioning. For dimensioning purpose, uh, we have to dimension it uh, smaller circle diameter, uh, uh, smaller circle diameter, right? So smaller circle diameter is 540. So try to keep your compass here and place it till 0.6 and try to uh, slightly move backwards as well as keep your compass here until 12. Try to move it backwards. You will be getting a curve. With that curve, you can dimension this. This is called dimensioning line. This is called extension line. Extension line should be very, very light and dimensioning lines also should be very, very light. Extension line should be one mm away from the diagram and you can mark the diameter of the circle and angle extender. So here it's 96 degree, right? Try to write this uh, 96 degree as it is and you need to mark that radius 75. So from here to bigger circle, the radius will be 75. So, so mark it as R 75. And 110 mm, we just cut an arc for drawing tangent and normal. You have, you have to represent that 110 mm also. So R 110. So from this point, this is the point P. If you keep your compass here and keep the other end at point P, try to move backwards somewhat outside the diagram, try to extend it backwards. So you can mark as 110 mm. Dimension line should be H and extension line should be 2H. So finally, you have to, your diagram will be like this and you will be drawing in this acre shade. Height of the text will be 10 mm. These are the subheadings T, T dash, N, N dash, or subheadings. It should be 7 mm. All dimensions are in mm. Scale only so on should be in 5 mm. You have to write this formula in your A3 sheet for representing this 96 degree. If you feel this video is useful, means you just share with your friends. And if you want any other uh, video to be uploaded, just type in the comment section. Please do subscribe to my channel Mechanical Motivator and press the bell icon. Then only you will be getting all the videos which I upload. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.